testosterone is uh, one of the most powerful, at the same time, one of the most mysterious hormones we know about. It's been with humankind since the dawn of history. Actually, a lot before that, because uh, all mammals, and indeed many other species, have testosterone. It does one thing, and one thing only. It causes males to be able to reproduce. But in that simple sentence is, lies great complexity. Because in order to reproduce, you have not only to be fertile, you have to be sexy, you have to be competitive, you have to be aggressive, you have to be attractive. And all these things, testosterone plays a major role. And that means it has lots of other things it does as well, like male bonding. Because males have a function in society, which is to protect society, to protect their group, to defend it against their enemies, particularly for young men. Therefore, testosterone makes men like taking risks, like being combative, like, taking, like having thrills. And so, testosterone is found not only in reproduction, but in all aspects of society, including the way we behave, and the way we organize ourselves, where we fight wars, why we have street gangs, but not only men. Testosterone is not simply a male hormone. Women have testosterone too, and it's vital for them as well, particularly their, their sexuality. We don't know actually nearly as much about testosterone in women as we do in men. It's been much less studied, but it's very important. So testosterone doesn't mean male, but it does mean an essential part of being a male. How does testosterone do this? It does it by acting on various parts of the body. Some are obvious, like a male's genitalia to make it grow and function properly. But also on his brain. And on his brain, it acts not only to activate sexuality, for which it's essential, and maybe to determine sexuality, though that's not quite so well established, but there are strong hints this may be the case, but it also enables him to carry out the sorts of behavior which are essential for successful reproduction, like the sense of competing with other males, the desire to win, the thrill of competition, the ability to combine with other males to form cohesive groups which both defend the society and, of course, assault and attack other societies. And from there, there's an obvious progression to the role of testosterone in war. So throughout history, we see the imprint of testosterone. And much of human society, a modern human society, which is, which is manufactured by the human brain, as indeed is much of the modern world, much of modern human society is devoted to controlling testosterone. So we have laws and customs and religion which regulate and channel the way testosterone is expressed in our society. But don't be mistaken, it goes on its old, powerful, competitive, essential function 